So you know a few days ago when I said that I actually do like Tokyo Extreme Race and I played a few of those games but I've not played any since one or two on the Dreamcast. I wasn't lying in that video. So what I decided to go ahead and do is buy Import Tuna Challenge. And that is what we are playing today. That is what you're seeing on your screen. Currently we're in like the kind of preview screen before you go into the main loading screen and it's showing an R34 going around at one. I think this is the C1 loop and it's got neons. For some reason it's in black and white right now. I don't really know why. But anyway, as you can see, we are gonna finally load into the game. I'm really excited to play this game because I have not played any Tokyo Extreme Races in a very long time and you know it was back on the Dreamcast we're on the 360 things are different so without further ado let's go and get straight into this okay so we've got quest mode time attack mode free run mode Xbox Live versus replay da -da -da -da. so obviously I'm assuming quest mode is career mode so we're just gonna go ahead and go straight into that and we're gonna start a new game I'm not sure whether I'm gonna do a full-on let's play but I'm definitely gonna do a few episodes and I'm planning on streaming this a bit later so if you are interested you can come down to the stream on twitch.tv but anyway uh, we can now pick our first car so I'm gonna look through all the options because that's just the type of person I am so we've got an RX-8 but sadly I don't know why that's on the list because we've only got three million credits <laughs> we've got an RX-8 did I say RX-8 a minute ago we've got an RX-8 and that's 1.5 million so that's that's doable the R32 which we don't have enough for as well as if the fucking R32 is 4.2 million you best believe we're gonna save for the R32 right so a lot of people on Twitter were saying that the 350Z is the way to go um, but I don't know if I kind of want to go for the OP option. That's just not my top. I'm just not how I go. Honestly, I'm digging this RX-8 right now. If it's cheaper to get an RX-8, which it is, I'm very, I'm tempted to get the RX-8 now thinking about it. So I know you guys said that the 350 was the way to go. I don't care. We're going to go with the RX-8. So we can actually spec it out as well. Is that just the color or is that the actual specs? Oh, okay. So it actually gives you a spec sheet. That's pretty cool. Right. So we, if we press buy, okay, now we get to pick the color. So obviously we can pick it in all different colors. I'm going to get it in the red because that's just kind of the classic RX-8 color. And now we can pick the number plate. <laughs> I don't know what any of this means. So I guess we're just going to kind of give it the obvious not safe for work license plate that I give all my cars. And we're going to put a heart at the end because that's really, really cute. Oh, and now it's showing me a cutscene. <laughs> That is so goddamn Japanese. That is so Japanese. The Iron Beasts are awakening. <laughs> right, so I'm actually not even sure what the controls are in this game. I've got a feeling the controls are weird. So I'm gonna um I'm gonna check the manual. How many times do you hear that? Okay, so shift up and shift down is pretty simple. It's all to do with the right stick, but I think we're in auto mode. Okay, we're not in auto mode. And it's not shifting up. What's going on? I am pressing up on the stick right now. And it's not doing anything. What the fuck? I swear the manual said right stick. Why is my car not shifting? Oh, I did something then. Is it clutch as well? Am I, is, that, is that what I'm missing? What's clutch button? Good race. I haven't been that excited in a while. Okay. Everybody who races these roads thinks that way, more or less. Hardly anyone ever actually makes it though. Is that because they don't know how to shift? <laughs> So basically what he's saying is you want to become the fastest street race of all time. Now, I'm confused to why I wasn't shifting properly. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go to course in. I'm assuming this is where we can actually race. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and pick night time, I guess. Um, and we'll pick, we'll go to Shiba Park first, I guess. And we'll go on the outside. Uh, I don't really care, to be honest. I just want to find out how we shift.
Okay, so that was a quick kind of look into some of the bosses. I think those are the three bosses that we need to defeat. So that's pretty goddamn cool. It was an RX-7, um, and that's the only one I actually remember off by heart. <laughs> um, we need to figure out how to shift up and down. That's a good idea. Okay, so for some reason I was lied to. I was told it was the right stick, but it's actually the bumpers. So that was really odd. Right, so how do I actually start a race? Okay, so A. Okay, and we've got an A86 to race first off. I wonder if we can actually beat this A86 in a stock RX-7. I mean, I hope so, because, you know, again, I haven't done anything to the car. So, I guess here's the hope in them. Now, if you've never played a Tokyo Extreme Racer game, which surprisingly, not everyone has. And um, they are quite old games, you know. Um, when I played it, it was on the Dreamcast. And I'm pretty sure there's probably a few people out there who don't even know what the freaking Dreamcast is. But, you know, back in the day when I was playing it, um, it was on the Dreamcast. And then obviously they had the long PS2 versions. Um, and then this one on the, on the 360, which isn't on PS3. It's only on 360. But essentially, if you haven't played it, it's basically a battle game. Um, you, then you go against another player. And you basically got to lose them on the streets of the Wangan C1 loop. Um, the physics are very suited to this type of game. It's a very arcadey type of game, um, and you can be able to tell that in this video. Anyway, we've won this race now, and we've got 56k out of that. So what we're going to go ahead and do, I know that's not a lot of money, but what I want to do anyway is I want to see what customization op options are available for this car. Now, I'm not too bothered about money because I'm going to be grinding this a bit later to see if I can get myself an R32. So we can upgrade this and see where it goes. There is a lot of visual customization, as you can see here. So we've got a veal slide kit. Okay, that's pretty cool. So that might mean the Vilside RX-7 is in this game. Um, but anyway, we've got a few option options here. We've got the Mazda Speed one. We've got the Ings one. We've got the Vilside one. And we've got this T and D one. Um, I'm kind of going to kind of just skip through all the options and see what there actually is. I'm assuming those four options are the same when you go around the car. Yeah, it is. There's quite a few options on what we can actually do to this car. It changes a lot. Look at that. We've got over fender options before that was even cool. Right, that's all pretty cool, but I don't think I'm going to touch it for now. Oh my God, it doesn't even end yet. So we've got uh, wheels, obviously. I kind of expected to see that. But look how many brands there are. Holy shit. The thing is, inside each brand, they've got like 20 options, which is a lot of freaking options. We've got neons. We've got body colors. I'm shocked at the amount of customization in this game. We can even do the interior. We can put those bride seats in. That's so sick. Even put a separate fucking steering. I'm pretty sure that's an Evo steering wheel. That's not even a lie. Oh my god. <laughs> you can put accessories in here. Oil temps, the water temps, all the boost gauges, all of it. That is so sick. We haven't even touched any of the actual tuning stuff, which makes the car go faster. So we've got muffler options, which obviously is the exhaust. I mean, it doesn't change the look of the exhaust, but it obviously makes it go faster. And we've also got engine mods, which does change the engine bay, which is really, really cool. Right, like I said, I don't want to put too much money into this car, and I do think we're going to be okay with it as it is so we're just gonna leave it as is for now um, and we'll see where it goes later but one thing i do want to do is put a set of rims on i missed a lot of rims when i was going through this first time jesus they've actually got their own separate category for rims which they've made which are ridiculous thing is there's so many options for rims i don't really know what to go for this is actually kind of overwhelming because you've got to keep in mind there's like what eight or ten brands in this game and they've all got like 20 odd options that's a lot of freaking options. Right, I take back what I said. I've literally been overwhelmed by the rim choice. I can't even. I can't even because there's so many options. I'm going to have to sit down and do a customization episode because that is just ridiculous. Anyway, to round off this episode, we're going to go back on the C1 loop at night and we're going to see if we can defeat a few more races and get a bit more cash. Okay, so here we go on the Wangan again and we're going to go ahead and flash another 8.6. Is it just a bunch of 8.6s? At the start, I swear I didn't even see an option to buy the 8.6 at the start. So does that mean that there's more cars aside from the starter cars? It's either that or I'm just blind. Okay, so it does seem like this 8.6 is not as slow as the previous one, which means we're gonna have to be very careful. Right, we're gonna go for the overtake right now. Oh, this is gonna be close. Oh, Jesus Christ, I was so close to hitting that car then. The thing is with this is the C1 loop is so goddamn narrow. As you can see, it is literally, this is, this is literally it. Oh my God, drifting on the fucking C1 loop. What the fuck? The most important thing right now is we are in the lead. And it's just got me thinking right now, 
because obviously um, the guys who made this Genki Racing Project are actually going to be announcing their next game tomorrow. Um, so whether that's a mobile game or whether that's you know a, an actual another console game, it's going to be announced tomorrow. And if there's anything like this on PS4, I swear to God. I will be playing this so hard. I'm not sure if you guys saw the amount of customization that was available. I kind of was expecting it because there were always this customization in these types of games. But you know, just seeing it now. Oh no, shit crash. No, 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 no. <sighs> Thank fuck that was towards the end of the race. Otherwise, I would have been screwed. Ooh, we've got another racer, right? Let's flash him. And this guy is in an S15. Okay, okay, something a bit different. Okay, so anyway, back to what I was saying. You know, the fact that they could possibly be making, like, another game for console, or even mobile, even mobile, considering that, you know, there are more brands that which are more prominently known, and the, you know, the car culture has changed a lot. If they were to make another game, chances are we would see Liberty Walk kits and we would see Rocket Bunny kits, which would be insane. We are so far behind this S15 now, you can definitely tell that we're going to start to need to upgrade our cars soon. But we're going to draft him and we're going to see if we can go for the overtake somewhere here. One thing is for certain is if we want to win, we can't crash into another traffic car. Okay, we've gone for the lead. And we're going to drift, drift, yep, drifting on a highway. That's what I just said. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go through here. Break round. Can we, can we, can we initiate him into the race? No, I fucked up. I was trying to get the other RX-8 into the race. Oh, no. He's right behind me, isn't he? Oh, shit. He's catching up. Shift! I think that's an issue with my controller. It just doesn't want to shift sometimes. Okay. And he's gone back in the lead. Oh, God. Oh, he's crashed. He's crashed. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. Right, this is actually going to be really, really close. And I think the buyout will be pretty good as well. Because it seems to be going up quite a lot between each race. Oh, God, I was losing grip then. Okay, so we are getting a bit of distance. We're going to go ahead and break into here. Oh, that was so sideways. I've gone down to 40. Oh, God. No, but it's making a weird noise. And I am losing him. And I think he's won this. I think we've lost. Oh, no, we lost. Okay, with that being said, that has been the end of the first Import Tune Challenge video. If you want to see more, make sure you go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and let me know down in the comment section down below. And obviously, if you want to see more, I can go ahead and do more. But that's been it from me. You guys have been awesome. Stay safe and peace.